hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is kitech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to turn your website into a progressive web app now what i mean by a progressive web app is that um, we're going to have something we can install on our phone just like a regular app that you have and then you'll be able to um, you know click on it go straight to your um to your website so your website will turn into something like an app like um you know web app that is all what we're going to do so let me just take you through what i mean by a progressive web app so um i have this website okay so if i go to the website this is the website i'm talking about now let me just refresh it and then you see what i'm talking about now most of the big websites also do the same thing now you see that there is this thing over here which says what um i can be able to install this particular um you know um app on my um, desktop or on my phone okay so now i have really um already installed it on my phone and i want to you guys to know how it looks like on the phone now guys if i go on my phone right now this is how my phone looks like and if i want to install the app i've already installed it so this is how the app looks like as you can see over here this is the business card okay this particular one now i can click on it right now and then it will open the website for me just like an app okay so it's gonna open the website for me um show me all the features of you know um an app um with a splash screen and all those things and just like an app and so as you can see it has opened for me now i can be able to what um, view all the features of this particular you know um website in an app like form on my phone okay so that is what that is now this really helps you to be able to allow people to visit your website more often just like they are visiting their with their app okay so it is very very important to you know have an app like form of um, you know thing on your phone or for your clients to have on their phones so this particular thing we call it a progressive web app and that is exactly what we are going to what we're going to have okay so um what we are going to do is very simple we're going to i'm going to show you how you can be able to turn any website into a progressive web app and then install it on your um, phone and then use it from your phone okay so let's jump into it all right so this is the website that we're going to use for our um progressive web app so we're going to turn this website into um, an app on our phone okay so um this is a cleaning website that i created um in my last video and you can go check it out if you haven't you know um watched that video but we want to turn this website into a clean um an app okay so just like we have it on our website or we can go to the website we want to you know also have it on um either our phone or even our laptop as an app okay so that is exactly what we're going to do so um let me just refresh this website and then you see that it is a live website it is not any staging website or something it is a live website hosted on a subdomain over here so we're going to go straight over here and then go to our dashboard okay so now we want to install a plugin to help us do what we are going to do so first of all hover on plugins over here and then click on add new now we're going to install a plugin called super progressive web app okay so just type in super progressive web app apps all right so as you can see this is the website that we are going to use okay so as you can see over here um it says it helps you convert your wordpress website into a progressive app instantly okay progressive web app instantly so as you can see um it is very very good it has almost like a five star rating over here um, with fifty thousand active installations which means that people like this particular plugin so what we're going to do is we're going to click over here to install now and we go ahead and activate the plugin all right so as you can see over here automatically it brings out to the settings of that plugin and as you can see it fills in everything that we will need so it fills in our application name it fills in our application short name it also fills in our um you know um description over here uh, icon application icon if um, you don't want it you can change it over here i'm going to remove this com from it to make it what kd cleaning over here 
and then um the description is a cleaning services okay now with the um, icon i want to choose a different icon now note over here that um, all the instructions that you need for for this particular icon you to create it make sure that you get it exactly now it should be a png and then the size should be what 192 by 192 exactly now this is the app icon and this is what is going to show on your phone okay so make sure that you set it correctly so i'm going to choose um a different one i will come to um you know over here and then i am going to go to downloads over here and i see this one which is my web apps over here now i'm going to use the 192 one but i want the one which is what this is jpeg i want this one which is the png okay so that is exactly what i'm going to choose so i'm going to just drag in all the pngs on it okay so um let me see this one also yeah i'm going to drag in all the um you know the pngs in it now it looks the same but they are not the same because of in, in terms of sizes okay so you're going to see the difference when we upload it now um as it is uploading um we are okay with it so let's just choose the one that we want okay so as you can see the size is what 192 by 192 pixel so we choose it and we select the icon so that is what we've selected and then we also have a monochrome okay so with the monochrome also it should also have a transparent background and must be a png exactly 512512 so this is um our monochrome over here as you can see it is a transparent background and it's also what 512 by 512 and a png format so we're going to select that one and then the splash screen also um icon so of course if you want to choose a, a um, um you know splash screen icon you can choose it so i'm going to choose um the monochrome for the splash screen icon or i'll choose just um the 5125121 this particular one for my um, you know splash screen icon and then also the app um screen also you can you know add any app screenshots that you want for your app but i'm going to leave that one as it is and then with the background color i'm going to use my background color over here so i'm going to copy this one and then um you know just pasting the color that i want you know the website's theme color is blue okay so that is exactly also um that i want over here it's supposed to be um, this color okay and then you select the page now of course um if you want the the page to um, you know start from a specific page that is where um, it will display when the app um, you know shows okay so you can choose the page that you want it to display so as you can see that selected the home page okay specifically um, the current page is this particular page and i like it that way i'm okay with it but if you don't like it you can go ahead and choose the page that you want to choose okay but i want the home page okay and then we also have the app category you can decide to choose the app category that you want um for instance if um you know you want your app to if, if it is a business you know whatever it is that it is um you can choose the category in it now of course mine is a business website because it is my cleaning business website so i'm going to choose business for it and then offline page also so i want this one to be my offline page meaning that when um you know i don't have internet it goes to still this place okay and then um orientation mode should be portrait um the this display it should be standalone now of course if you don't understand you should look at the difference over here okay so you click over here to um, check the difference and then um i think everything is quite okay um you can decide to go ahead and save settings over here all right so we have saved it now you can go ahead and also look at some features or add-ons that you can be able to add to your um your your app okay so for instance uh, you can activate certain things so you can activate the apple touch icons and splash screen over here if you want your app to be on apple you can activate it over here okay so um set the application icon and splash screen icon as apple touch icons for compatibility with ios so you can do so over here and then um, caching strategies also you can also activate it over here um i'm look i'm showing you all the free ones okay so pull to refresh also you can activate it so that it will pull and when you want to refresh it you just click to pull i want to activate this one because um, my website basically is just a website and i want it to what um it to pull to refresh okay so you can 
um, see the settings over here and then also push notifications so maybe there is, is a blog or something you want people to get notification um, on their phones or on their you know something like that on their uh, devices you can activate the push um, notification over there and then we have the UTM tracking okay so track visits from your app by adding a UTM tracking um, parameters to start to the start page URL so these are some of the free things that you can do let me go to the settings of the uh, pool to refresh to see what is really there so as you can see over here these are the basic settings over here okay so pool message um, release message refresh shin message font size okay and then font color also over here so basically that is it now aside that let's go to the advance of the whole uh, super progressive web app itself so um the app shortcut so um specify the page to to load when the application is launched via a shortcut now of course i want to specify the home page over here. and then disable add to home um screen okay so do you want to disable out to home screen you can remove default banner over there i don't want to disable it i want it to be there and then also um, yandex support offline analytics you know offline message um refresh miss manifest url and all those kind of stuff these are a little bit um you know complex things but of course if you want to exclude some urls um and then you also want to exclude add to home screen banner you can also do so over here and then um, the role base access so who do you want to give access to um in terms of this app so you choose based on your role the roles that you want to give access to but of course for me administrator is quite okay for me i can go ahead and click on save settings if i'm done with it so now i think um, my app should be ready um let me go ahead and then you know see how uh, my whole app really looks like now, now first of all let me go to the front page and then i want to refresh it i want to see if there is going to be some thing over here which will tell me to what um add to install so as you can see i have seen it over here and it's telling me that um from the app cleaning service it says that i should be able to i should be able to um you know install now because i did not um bring in any um how do you call it um you know a splash screen over here you don't see it but let's go back again and then let's go to the splash screen over here so let's say this is the um no the app screenshot okay so i want to choose um anything for my app screenshot okay so let's say i want to um let me just go ahead and choose something something let me just choose um something like this particular one also for my app screenshot so i just want to select this one and then go ahead and then click on now of course i did not do the um you know the um the size or anything but i want to show i want you to see how it will look like if um i'm i'm supposed to refresh and see the sh screenshot of the app okay let's see how it looks like now as you can see the screenshot is not showing wordpress again it is showing this particular um i um you know um, image that we, we we chose over here so now i can click over here to install um this particular app on my um you know my website okay so i can on my computer over here so if i click on install now um it's supposed to install on my computer and let me go ahead and then you know just look at my um, desktop and see if this one shows over here if it doesn't show by so as you can see it shows over here just like this one okay so this is what this is it now we're going to um, install this on our you know on our um on our phone also okay so we want to install it on our phone also so we're going to go straight to our phone also and then see how we can um, go ahead and then install this particular one also on our phone so what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to go ahead go straight away and then head over to my phone so as you can see over here it says that would you like to pin um you know kd cleaning company to your tax bar if you want to pin it it is but as you can see right now we have installed it on our phone and it's not showing us what as a website but rather it is showing as a progressive web app on our what on our phone so i want to say no over here and you can see it over here on our tax bar over here that um, because we open it you know from the app 
it is what it is showing over here but let's let's go to our phone and then also try and then what um you know use it on our phone and see how it looks like all right so i have come to my phone and um, i'm going to show you how um it looks like on my phone so i'm going to go to my google over here and i'm going to um, type in kd so before you can be able to you know install this one you have to what, type in the um you know the the website over there so um kd and then um kitech tutorials that is the website name over here so i'm going to type in the kitech tutorials dot com and then you know just go ahead and then search for or go to that particular website all right guys so as you can see this is um the website over here and this is how it shows on um how do you call it on our device or on our phone over here okay so this is how it shows on our phone over here now how can we get it on our laptop uh, on our on our, on our um phone okay so how we can get it on our phone is very simple i'm going to click on this three dots over here and as you can see um if i scroll you know to um let me see so i should be getting a notification on top over here which um should allow me to be able to uh, to you know install it okay so notification should come over here so that i should be able to install it on my phone but if not um i also need to see something for by so as you can see install app is right over here okay so i should be able to install the app right over here okay so if i don't get the notification over here but not notification needs to come okay because if i push to refresh over here, i need to see notification but if i don't see notification if i click on this three dots over here and if i scroll down over here i should be able to see install app over here and if i click on install app and as you can see install app um kd cleaning company so i can just click on it to what to install okay and it is what installing kd cleaning company and um when it's done i can go to my um you know go to my 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 app screen or my um phone screen okay um, and then check it out so i'm going to just um go ahead and then um check it up on my phone screen over here so let me just see so guys as you can see this is what kd cleaning over here and i can just open it right over here and this is how it looks like when you're opening it okay so everything looks perfectly well and it opens just like an app over here so it is what just as simple as that you can be able to um, turn your website into a progressive app for your company or for anything um any business that you are creating it for so maybe the business said they have what they want an app for um for their website and you cannot create the app you can turn tell them or convince them that um you can you know change their their website into a progressive um you know web app for them okay and anybody can be able to install it on their website as they want it so as you can see we have a web on our what on our no, our, our website on our phone as an app or a progressive web app and there is no difference between all the apps over here okay nobody would even notice that it is not a real app or it is not just um you know a native um app okay a native app it is a progressive web app which everybody can be able to do so i hope this video helps you to be able to turn your website into a progressive web app um, where you you can increase more customer um, you know interaction with your website okay thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel um if this particular video helps you we want to grow together please subscribe okay thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye